Though only in its testing phase, new real-time monitoring technology from the Environmental Protection Agency has been introduced to track and monitor all offshore activities. This technology serves as an integral component in managing Guyana's nascent oil and gas sector, ensuring that operators are in compliance with the necessary safety protocols. And with this system, the EPA no longer has to depend on the information that is trickled down from the operators. On Tuesday at the EPA's head office in Georgetown, head of the agency's oil and gas unit, Joel Grisandi, gave the media a simple play-by-play -play of how exactly the system works to capture information on the Liza Destiny oil ship docked in the Starbuck block. With sensors tagged on the ship, the EPA will have access to production numbers, gas levels and power generation. Earlier in February 2022, now have access, live, near real-time access to operations at the Lysa Destiny FPSO. Right? Um, this, this, this is the platform that we normally log into. Again, 24-hour real near real-time access um, on a plotter of parameters. Um, production, seawater, gas, um, power generation, SHE, tanks, and flare management. Right? Now, um, of interest based on the agency's mandate, particular interest is paid to, of course, self safety, health, and environmental aspects. Right? Um, as I said before, we get the data in near real time. Um, and of course, we get the previous day's data to compare. The system also allows the EPA to effectively monitor flaring activities offshore Guyana using a satellite that can track thermal heat signatures. And according to Roshana Thomas, the EPA's geographic information system specialist, the agency can determine whether flaring activities exceed the mandated levels outlined in the environmental permits. We're able to click on any one of these events. Um, and this gives us, um, within three hours of an event, we're able to get the alert. This tells us where it has happened, the brightness temperature of the channel, and the radiative power. Based on the radiative powers, you see this is 14.3 um, megawatts. So it's likely that this is because of a heat producing equipment on one of the ships, perhaps a crane or a compressor or a generator. Though the real-time monitoring system is up and running, the EPA will still continue with in-person monitoring on FPSOs and rigs offshore Guyana. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.